London, England, February 21, Unai Emery, manager of Arsenal celebrates his team's first goal, an own goal scored by Zakhar Volkov of FC Bate during the UEFA Europa League round of 32 second leg match between Arsenal and Bate Borisov at Emirates Stadium on February 21, 2019 in London, United Kingdom. Photo by Clive Rose, Getty Images, Arsenal eased past Bate Borisov in professional fashion on Thursday night, overhauling a one-goal deficit after a damning first-leg defeat. The disparity in quality was clear, but it was still a fine performance from the Gunners who needed to be alert and creative to ensure the victory and see themselves into the final 16 of a very winnable competition. Find the latest episode of The Pain in the Arsenal podcast here, Huddersfield, Abuse and a Difficult Question Here are five things we learned from the 3-0 win. London, England, February 21, Nemanja Milik of FC Beta is challenged by Nacho Monreal of Arsenal during the UEFA Europa League round of 32 second leg match between Arsenal and Bate Borisov at Emirates Stadium on February 21, 2019 in London, United Kingdom. Photo by Clive Rose, Getty Images, 5. Kolasinic, Maitland Niles now trusted Unai Emery switched to a 4-2-3-1 formation, playing with a flat back 4 and 1 center forward. It is no surprise that Arsenal immediately looked more balanced cohesive. But the shape comprises two traditional fullbacks, rather than the hybrid wingback roles of the 3-4-3 or 3-5-2 that had been utilized in recent weeks. Want your voice heard? Join the pain in the Arsenal team. Right for us. At both positions, Emery made changes, dropping Seed Kolasinic for Nacho Monreal on the left and swapping Ainsley Maitland-Niles for the much-maligned Stefan Liechtsteiner on the right. In a game that needed goals, Emery dropped the two more attacking fullbacks for the two more defensive fullbacks. It may seem like a strange move but it is indicative of the lack of trust he has in Kolasinic and Maitland-Niles. Both have been defensively vulnerable at times this season and the slightly more reserved fullback position does not naturally suit either. There were questions over whether Emery would give them time to try and adapt to the role, but his decision to drop both suggests that he will not be so patient. Arsenal were still able to attack well through the fullback areas, so it didn't hurt them all that much but the team selection was telling for the potential futures of Maitland-Niles and Kolasinic. Next, 4. McTeeter Jan shows what he is worth page 2 Use your arrows, to browse London, England, February 21st, Henrik McTeeter Jan of Arsenal shoots past Alexander Filipovic of FC Bait during the UEFA Europa League round of 32 second leg match between Arsenal and Bait Borisov at Emirates Stadium on February 21st, 2019 in London, United Kingdom. Photo by Mike Hewitt, Getty Images, I have been highly critical of Henrik McEater Jan since he arrived in North London almost a year ago. The Armenian was swapped for Alexis Sanchez, who was set to leave for nothing six months after, so I cannot really complain about what Arsenal get out of the former Manchester United winger. Nevertheless, for the most part, he has not delivered on expectation over the past year. But that changed here. Now, let me be clear. Bait Borisov are not the kind of team to provide a stern test and truly offer a neat analysis of Mkhitaryan's Jan's production. But you can only play what is in front of you, and Mkhitaryan Jan was perhaps the Gunners' most influential attacking player. He created four chances, completed 100% of his dribbles, and whipped in numerous crosses into the six-yard box that caused serious difficulty for the Borisov defense. He was busy, creative, direct with the ball at his feet. This is what I wanted to